3D printing the Dark Repulsor Sword from the Sword Out Online anime. We're going to have to 3D print this sword in several different pieces because it is full size. With that said, let's get started. Here's all the pieces. I'll start gluing the pieces together. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue them together with some super glue. So basically how it works is, let's go ahead and take the handle for instance. We can slide a gap piece, bring it in right, like that. And then the next piece slides in, like that. And they slide together. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those together. And from there, just go ahead and put together the whole sword. Let's get gluing. All right, first blade glued. Work on the next piece. All right, I glued both the guard pieces. Now I'm gonna glue the guard pieces together and glue them onto the handle. All right, the handle's glued. Uh, these creases, I think I'm gonna fill in with some um, JB Weld or just some sort of fill-in material. There it is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing together the blade now. All right. Here's the weapon of mass destruction. Dun, dun, dun. It is done. It is put together. Whoa. Booyah. So we're sitting here waiting for the print to finish. And I just thought, you know, you guys have never seen the printer in real time, like ever, on my channel, ever. You've always just seen, you know, just the time lapse of it, but this is it in real time, as you see, and it's, uh, it's slowly laying a layer at a time, so it will be <laughs> a while. All right, the power has finished. Well, there it is, the two pieces together. So there's one piece. I got the side now. Ooh. There we go. There's the other piece. Detail up in here did really well. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put it together. Put it in. Put it into each other. Like that. 